Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload your Laravel project to a share hosting server. So this is our e-commerce Laravel project. As you can see, uh, we have some product over here and we'll upload this project uh, to our cPanel as a share hosting. So uh, for it, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to zip our project. So let me just go back to my project and so these are project e-commerce pro uh, this is laravel project as you can see so i'll just right click over here and then click send to and then click compass zip folder so this will zip our project and it will take some time so here you can see that uh, the project is zipped e-commerce pro so right now what we have to do is that we need to go to our cpanel so you need to log into your C panel and um, and depending on which service you use your your uh, C panel will look different but uh, basically all the file system basically will be always always be the same so i do hope that you already have domain and hosting since you are watching this video but if you don't then you can just buy your domain and hosting from hostgator it is really cheap and their service is really great you can just start as little as uh, $2.75 per month so i'll give the link uh, of this hostgator in the description uh, so that if you want you can just check it out if you want to buy hosting and domain from here you will get up to 65 percent off from here okay so uh, let's go back to our project and uh, first of all you need to log into your cpanel and then you just need to go down and you will see over here file manager option over here like this just click on file manager and it will open in another tab then you will see something like this and here you can see on the left side here you can see public underscore html just click on public html and over here we are going to create a folder so inside this public html so on that top left corner you will see a folder option over here plus folder just click on the folder option and just give it a name uh, let's i'll say over here e-commerce e-commerce and uh, over here you can see create new folder a button over here just click over here and uh, here you can see we have a folder called e-commerce over here let's go inside and inside this we are going to upload our this project so for it here you can see we have a upload option so let me just go back so we will upload our project to this e-commerce folder so let's go inside and right now we'll click upload then it will open another tab and then you will see a select file button over here just click select file and from here you can choose your project uh, from here you can see e-commerce pro you can choose it like this or you can just drag it from here and paste it over here and you will see something like this a progressing bar that the project is uploading and it will take like 20 to 30 seconds to upload the project since the project is not that big it depends on your net speed actually and here you can see our project is uploaded 100 percent is complete so here you can see a link over here you can just click over here or you can just go to your folder e-commerce e-commerce folder and just reload over here just click reload so you will see a zip folder over here and all you have to do is that we need to unzip this folder so so for it just right click over here and then click over here extract you will see extract option just click extract and we'll click extract here uh, on the e-commerce folder we'll click extract files and it will take a few seconds and here you can see it's done so right now we can just delete this zip folder from here i'll just delete it permanently and uh, if i just go back uh, here you can see that this is our e-commerce folder that we created from here and inside it we have this e-commerce pro project folder so what we want is that whatever file we have in this e-commerce pro we want them over here so what we'll do is we'll go inside and we'll say over here select all then we'll uh, search for the move option you will see a move option over here 
you can see move just click move and here you can see that uh, public underscore html slash e-commerce slash e-commerce pro so we will remove this e-commerce pro and then click move files and here you can see this directory is empty so let's go back and here you can see we have the all the files and folder in the e-commerce folder okay so right now okay let me just show you uh, let's go to my public html again and if i now click on this e-commerce folder you can see that all the file and folder is over here so i am taking it slowly so that you can understand it clearly so right now our project is in the server or in the cpanel but right now what we have to do is that we need to set up our database so for it uh, we'll go to our cpanel cpanel then you can just uh, search for so in the cpanel right now we will search for uh, mysql database so in the search option uh, you can search for my sql database or you can just directly manually search for mysql database like this uh, you can see over here data option and here you can see mysql database just click on over, over here mysql database and then you will see something like this uh, you can see create new database and here you can see gaming ch underscore so after this we'll just give it a name uh, you can name your database anything so i'll just go with e-commerce e-commerce and then we'll click, click over here create database and here you can see edit the database and the, and the database name is gaming ch underscore e-commerce okay so right now let's go back click over here go back then what we have to do is that we need to go down and if we go a little bit down you will see mysql user add new user so we'll create a user for that database uh, so let's say our username will be or uh, let's say e-commerce the same thing and let's keep, let me just give a password and then i'll just click create user and here you can see it created a user mysql user name gaming underscore e-commerce gaming says underscore e-commerce so right now let's go back and what we have to do is that let's go down and if you go a little bit more down you will see add user to database so here we'll add our user we just created a user and the username was gaming siege underscore e-commerce and our database name was also the same gaming siege underscore e-commerce just select them and then click add then it will uh, take you to this page here you can see username and the database name and here you can see all privileges just click over here all privileges then click over here at the down make changes and here you can see you save gaming underscore e-commerce uh, okay so right now we'll just go back so the basic setup is done so right now uh, what we'll do is we'll go to our c panel then we'll go down to the database part and this time we'll go to our pc my admin part and if i click on pc my admin here you can see that we have a database called gaming siege underscore e-commerce but there is nothing in the gaming siege underscore e-commerce because we haven't uploaded the sql file for this database so right now we need to upload the sql file so let me just download my sql file so this is my ps my admin my local ps my admin so i'll this is my database so i'll just export this database from here click export then click go and this is my sql file so right now i'll just upload this sql file over here so i will just click over here import or let me just drag it over here or you can just choose it from here like this but i'll just drag it over here and here you can see it succeed so right now if i just refresh here you can see that all the table over here so only a few more steps is left and that is we need to 
go to our uh, project env file and we need to mention our database name username and the password so let we'll just click on dot env then right click over here then you will see edit option just click edit so here you can see db database uh, e-commerce pro so instead of uh, this e-commerce pro we need to write our own database name and uh, let me just go to my uh, PSP my uh, over here mysql databases and uh, here you can see my database name is uh, gaming ch underscore e-commerce here you can see this is the database name uh, let me just copy it and i'll paste it over here db database and for my username here you can see privileged user which is gaming ch underscore e-commerce uh, this is spelling mistake e double co and here you can see eco double m here i did a spelling mistake so i'll just copy it uh, you need to copy it exactly or you need to write exactly you have over here so i'll just copy it over here so that i don't make any mistake and i'll paste over here db username over here okay let me write it like this and uh, here we need to write our uh, db password i mean when we create the user over here we give a password over here and we need to give that password over here and for my case the password was i write uh, e-commerce u c o double m e r c e-commerce at the rate of one two three and when you have a special character in your password you need to make sure that you give to single quotation you uh, you need to keep that password inside a single quotation so after it just save it and right now after saving it if you just say over here uh, your let me just write my website name which is gamingchairbt.com then we give a slash and here you can see that uh, my folder name is e-commerce e-double-c-o-m-e-r-c -E uh, so if we need to write it like this e-double-c-o-m-e-r-c -E -E i did a spelling mistake for writing while writing e-commerce so i'll just keep it like this and if you press enter here you can see 403 access denied so for it uh, we need to make some more changes and that is we need to go inside e-commerce then we'll go inside public and inside public here you can see we have index.php so we'll move it from here click move and we'll move to our uh, to this location public underscore html slash e-commerce i'll just click move files and we'll go back and here you will see index.php over here so we need to edit something in this index.php we'll just click edit and then here you can see uh, shortest backslash we'll just keep only on slash and for this vendor as well and after it for this bootstrap as well after it save it then let's refresh here again and here you can see it is now uh, telling us that composer detected issue in your platform your composer dependency required psc version 8.1.0 now my project psc version is uh, 8.1.0 so we need to change our psc version so for it uh, let me just go to my c panel then we will search for select psc version for this or if you just go a little down if you go down here you can see in the software section here you can see select psc version if you can't find it just search over here select psc version we'll just click over here and uh, it will reload and here you can see our current version is 7.4 so we'll make it 8.1 and we'll set is at as current so just click set as current here you can see it's reloading and the PSP version is changed to 8.1 so right now if we refresh okay we have the website but uh, some images are missing so uh, what we'll do is that let's just go back to my uh, file manager uh, public html then e-commerce and from here we'll go to the public folder and uh, let's just select all and let's move it to the main folder directory i mean over here we'll just remove this public we'll move our 
uh, move all the folder from public to this location so let's just click move file so you can see this directory is now empty so right now uh, we'll just go on level up and here you can see that uh, let me just go to public HTML then e-commerce this folder and in this folder we will have all those folder from the public folder here you can see admin home images all of them uh, we move from the public folder so right now if we refresh this should work and here you can see all the images is over here properly and let me just try to log in and it's working fine okay let's try to log into our admin dashboard let's keep the password click login so this is our admin dashboard and it's working fine let's just add a product uh, let's add a product from here let's just add a test product let's give the price discount price quantity 12 let's add a category let's just say toy and let's just select a picture let's say this one let's click add product and we are able to add the product properly now let's go to our home page let's see okay this is a product that we just add and everything is working fine okay so here we did a mistake uh, in the spelling for the e-commerce so let me just fix that uh, let's go to file manager and public underscore html and here i'll just rename it to uh, e-commerce e c o double m e r c e-commerce rename file so right now if we refresh it will not work so we'll say e c o double m e r c let's press enter and there you go it is working fine so this is how you can upload laravel project to a share hosting uh, so i hope this tutorial was useful to you and if you have any question or any problem you can let me know in the comment section i'll try to give you a proper reply as possible and when you are uploading your laravel project to the server for the first time you will uh, genuinely or uh, you will surely face some problem and uh, i know that because i also face a lot of problem while uploading a project uh, for the first time so if you face any problem just let me know in the comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so stay tuned and stay healthy